about 7.14 in the morning and we are about to do this. It's the word, Raymond. I can't believe we're doing this. This is gonna be, this is gonna be cool. I recently did a video on my old Sony NEX7 that I had converted to a full spectrum camera. This essentially means that by using filters, you can make images using the visual spectrum, ultraviolet, or even infrared. So last month I was in Arizona with several other photographers and we had the opportunity to go on a hot air balloon ride and we weren't able to bring camera bags on the balloon so I opted to carry a GoPro to film this with and my modified Sony NEX7 with the infrared filter. We took off just before sunrise and this provided a really interesting opportunity to photograph the Sedona landscape with the only light source coming from a second hot air balloon on our flight. Limiting the incoming light to just infrared to the camera gives you an interesting dynamic range to work with, which ends up giving you this beautiful high contrast end result. Years ago, I used to shoot infrared film, which was fun, but it was pretty grainy on 35 millimeter, and I was using the old Kodak HIE high-speed infrared. Now, coming back to this with a digital camera opens up an entirely different set of possibilities and a perfectly clean image. My first experience with this type of light manipulation was probably about a year and a half ago when I had the opportunity to shoot with the Phase 1 IQ3 Achromatic, which is a medium format black and white full spectrum camera. And my friends at Sony encouraged me to do a similar modification on my NEX7 and I'm really pleased with these results. Back when I used to shoot a lot of black and white film, my driving sources of inspiration were Ansel Adams and a guy named John Blakemore. And both of these artists worked with black and white because they could manipulate the exposure and the development time to achieve a desired result, and also both of these photographers teach using the idea of using zones in a grayscale. Now as digital photography became more mainstream, I was really never excited about the possibilities of black and white from digital cameras. Modern cameras are designed to deliver color images, and manipulating these in post-production eh, is just so different than what I was trained to do on black and white film. Now modifying a camera to do this has brought me full circle back to black and white, and understanding how to get a certain look by pre-visualizing, in other words, knowing what it is that you want to shoot, then taking the steps with filters and exposure to get that look. It's quite amazing. Anyway, I just wanted to make this follow-up video to talk about the results that I was getting with this camera and how excited I am to be working with it. I'd never been in a hot air balloon before and that was a pretty exciting experience as well. I met some pretty inspiring friends on this trip that you'll likely be familiar with. All of these photographers inspire me creatively and make me work harder. I just had no idea I'd be taking along a camera I brought seven years ago and absolutely loving the results. Full spectrum cameras are pretty amazing. My motto in my entire career is from the famous words of Theodore Roosevelt, do what you can with what you have where you are. Modifying an old camera for full spectrum isn't the latest and greatest, but it sure is exciting to use. Flames going too if I had to zoom. Thank you. 